Oh, it's time, friends. It's time we all got our walk back on because it's about time we got to Death Stranding 2 on the beach. Ah, it's time to get on the beach with Death Stranding 2. I don't even know how there is a Death Stranding 2. Kojima promised it. And now he's delivering more madness, more insanity. I don't even know what's going on here. I'm going to take a guess. I beat the game. I'm pretty sure I platinumed it. And I, I do love me a good walking stimulator. Simulator. Sexulator. I don't know what's going on with this thing. I watched the preview. It seems like it's all gameplay footage and cutscenes. So we're getting what we asked for. I'm going to briefly go through it so I can make some sense of it. Even though I beat it, even though I think I understand the plot of Death Stranding, I do not necessarily understand what's going on. I'm going to guess and summarize that while... Porter Bridges, Sam Porter Bridges. You may know him from such things as The Walking Dead. Uh, so they brought him back. And um, yeah, they brought a bunch of people back. It looks like Guillermo de Toro is going to reprise his role. Uh, the girl's going to reprise her, girl, her, her role. Let's we'll take a look at it. We'll discuss it. I'm trying to see. Maybe I can see who stars in it. Um, Norman Reedus obviously is going to be back in it. Uh, I don't know. I I don't know what's going on. Troy Baker's going to reprise his role in it. You thought it was dead, didn't you? So I'm just going to look at some stills as we go through this. And um, but it looks like we, he had so much success rebuilding the American network that they need you to go back out on a hike. This time you're going to reconnect all of North America or, uh, yeah, maybe even South America. Mostly it sounds like Mexico and maybe Canada. Who, who knows? But um, crazy imagery is going to be there like it normally is. We were looking at some bananas. I don't know what we're looking at. But the team's been all separated, and I'm sure you're going to have to rebuild the team um, they're reviving somebody, you know, somebody, I don't know who it is. It's probably that girl who's talking all crazy mother. I'm going to guess it's mother as Leah Sado reprising her role as fragile. Um, apparently they're, they're, they're in, they're on a ship inside a BB or inside of some, somebody. I don't know what's going on here. Because it apparently it starts on a ship and then it goes back to the conventional world. Who, who knows? It's uh, Hideo Kojima. Because this whole sequence is in black and white. So I'm assuming it's not the real world. You're like in spaceship world. So, you know, you got Norma's Reedus back. And, and maybe there's a multiplayer component to this. The one thing I really liked about Death Stranding is that you had all the strands, which like... If somebody else put a ladder up for you, you could thank them for it. If they helped to build a highway, we could all work collectively to build a highway. I, I mean, I, I, just, I genuinely uh, love that game. I really do. I know a lot of people are going to be like, more hiking, really. Balancing packages. Maybe this time you could be like a package delivery driver instead of just walking. But I, I swear I saw some more walking. So, I mean, I'm definitely going to pick it up. If you encourage me to, I will live stream my victory over Death Stranding 2. Um, but yeah, there's like a whole black and white segment where they're, and then they're like, oh no, just kidding. You're going to go out into the real world. Get to hiking, son. Get to hiking. It looks just as beautiful as ever. And the part of it is like, it's kind of like this weird, serene activity where you're like, problem solving but it's not like so difficult that you can't do it once you get the hang of the game and like you're you're thanking people and congratulating them on helping you through this it's a lot of fun there is some sort of mention about like the gun this time like instead of in in the previous game you were discouraged from killing people this time it seems like there's a lot of automation 
And maybe it wasn't the right idea to connect everybody because maybe there's the spread of, who knows, this misinformation. I, I don't know what's going on. But all the different locales look pretty fantastic. You're going to hike in the desert. You're going to hike in the lava. You're going to have more ghosties trying to get you. You're going to get all sorts of craziness. You're going to be able to drive different and better vehicles, which I'm all of it. I'm all about. We need a new PS5 release. I love the idea of these like AI robots that maybe you are part of like maybe they're people, but maybe they're not. And they've got all like the, the detecting technology. I love the dog. I love the game design. It's too good. They're, uh, this is the most confusing game I think I've ever played in my entire life as far as plot goes. But hey, whatever. If you gotta bring Troy Baker back as the Joker, why not? What who cares? Do it. They're having this whole strange dialogue, and then there's a whole cutscene where maybe it's it's Lou. There's a guitar solo thing going on. It's just bananas. There's just like why there's a guitar uh, weapon. Sure, why not? There's a ninja BB. Sure, give me more ninja BBs. What what do I care? Are you gonna stop me with my ninja BBs? I don't think so. And then he's got a real baby, Lou. I don't know. Is Lou him? I don't know. <laughs> Somebody please explain. And <laughs> she's got these this mask. I feel like it's inspired by the lockdowns on some level. I don't know, man. All of this. Ko Kojima, he's insane. But more power to him. It's a little bit of Ghostbusters with floating bodies. But you get to be Norman Reedus again. With an empty BB jar, and you're hiking. Tell me what you got. Are you guys excited for this? Do you want to see some more BB action? I mean, sure. I Again, I can't recommend the game enough. It's almost like a zen place where you can just take some packages and go on a walk. Touch some grass, but you're not really touching grass. Uh, and I do know K Kojima had an amazing taste in music. Sound design. Oh, I can't even describe how satisfying the sound design is in his games. There's just, just like so much thought put into it. He's such an eccentric. It's so much fun. I promise. If you give it a chance, you're going to enjoy it. You're going to like it. You're going to like hiking. You're going to enjoy it. Either way, let me know what you're thinking down in the comments below. I'd love to talk about it. What did you think? Did you enjoy the first game? Are you looking forward to another game? Were you pissed? Did you feel like you lost your 50 bucks on the game? I got a, I got a, a, a non-digital copy. I got a real hard copy. And I will play it again someday in like 10 years. And I'm going to enjoy it and be like, this was a classic. I love the music. Slow Roar is great. Yeah, I loves it. Anyway... Be sure to catch our full-length audio podcast. For the time being, it's still on iTunes, Stitcher, Spotify, all those great places. We're hoping to keep it there. We're going to go through some reshuffling. You're going to see th some things change here. The things that are going to change is going to be different. But in the meantime, we still have it. We stream it here on YouTube, 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Times on Friday nights. Come join the party. You can join the channel support us super chat it's a lot of fun we promise we're worldwide baby you're gonna love it i guarantee it anyway thank you so much like subscribe we love all y'all but i'm on to the next one <laughs>